Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you the 1998 Chinook Concourse. This Chinook sits on a 1997 Ford E350 with a V10 Triton motor. This is the 6.5 liter V10. 16 inch wheels. It's got the dualies in the back. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna list all the extensive modifications that this has had. I'm just gonna sort of rattle off some of the stuff that I know about, and I'm gonna tell you guys some of the stuff that is sort of you know you kind of have to come and see to to sort of notice. Uh, just sort of wanna uh, save everybody time. Make sure that uh, what you guys see in the pictures is sort of um, accurate. We all know how these new cameras can uh, make things look prettier than they actually are. So I just want to make sure that you guys are seeing things how they are. Anyways, um, overall this is a really beautiful uh, rig. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the paint is in really good shape but on close-up there are sort of some imperfections here and there. Uh, there used to be a sort of a banner here at one point, and there's sort of the outline here. You can kind of see there's a couple of rust flakes, a little bit of missing paint right there. Um, clear coat, some uh, cracking in the uh, paint gel coat here. You can kind of see it in the actual Chinook. Here's another little thing. More cracking here and there. Uh, overall, like I said, the vehicle's in perfect shape. It's never been in any accidents. Uh, it's been, it's got probably a two inch or a three inch lift. It's got some oversized tires, got an oversized uh, bumper, uh, sort of one of those move bumpers, came in a kit and welded it up together and right aligned it. Um, wind guards on the front. It's got the toast style mirrors right here. Uh, just a little bit of outside. These are this is the um, venting for the furnace. This is the bracket, the leg uh, holds for the awning. <clears throat> you got the vehicle exhaust and the generator exhaust right next to it. It's got a 4K uh, Onan generator. That's the vent for the fridge. There's also a really cool. Um, uh, LED strip right there that we could turn on if we want to. Uh, some recessed lights in the rear bumper. Um, this uh, I was going to redo. I have another one of these, um, but I have to scrape it off. It's going to take a little bit of work. But otherwise, this is a chrome plated bumper that we rhino lined as well. Um, a compartment for the rear holds a jack. Um, obviously, these are Ford tail lights. This is a city water connection, so you could plug in a city water connection. Um, some of the uh, um, tanks for the bottom. Uh, the Chinook is uh, built in Yakima, Washington, so they insulate all the tanks and a lot of the plumbing inside there. Sewer hose area. This is um, when you're, this is a gas fill. This is where you plug in if you're going to plug in somewhere. Uh, this is uh, where you fill up water. Some external outlets for when it's charged up. Uh, scratch out, not there. Um, and uh, water, uh, water heater right there. So inside, let me show you guys a little bit of what's going on. Some of the Chinook trim right here. These are these Husky all-weather mats that I cherish, love, and adore. The brake works really well. Uh, the driver's seat is powered. It's got a couple of power systems. Um, you're gonna have uh, both of these. We'll have these armrests. They're called flex steel seats. They're pretty awesome. Um, cruise control works really well. Um, let's see. 
AC blows cold. This is a 10 inch radio uh, with Bluetooth connectivity, Wi Fi, all kinds of stuff. Um, some connections here for your generator. You got a vehicle boost and driving lights, which no longer works. But I do have these guys set up, which um, control all of the lights, exterior lights. So I think it's going to be front, it's probably back, and then side to side. There's, an, there's one last button, I forgot what it's for. Um, this is the mirror, um, mirror, uh, powered mirror option. I am going crazy right now. Vehicle has 170,000 miles, runs and drives beautifully, power lock, power windows, again, cruise control right here. Uh, this um, we can connect to via Bluetooth. That's probably going to be the best way to do it. Um, again, you've got Husky weather mats right there. That's the tape for the rear bumper I was going to put on there sort of a never-ending list of things that is actually going to end soon. Um, this right here is a, uh, this is, um, uh, what do you call this? It goes on the window, and it's made for this Chinook. It's actually like sort of a better better quality one than, than the rest, so that's pretty cool. Um, carpets roofed out, flooring put in. Sort of do a slow pan here because this is, one of the nicer parts. Boom. So um, it's got 420 watts of solar, which is really good. Um, can't really fit any more solar. Um, it's really easy to turn this into a bed, and then that can turn into a bed as well. It's just the standard sort of uh, table that pops down, and then these two cushions go right on top of it, turns into a bed. That's kind of one of the more comfortable beds of the two. This one is actually easier to pop into a bed. You just pull on this side and it just pops. And um, these um, these are some cushions that ended up looking really good in here. So I kept them. And same with these. Um, these are really nice. You're just going to lean on them. Um, makes I like leaning on things. Uh, I got the LED strip right here that turns into whatever color you want. Of course, all of the lights that are in here. All of this is oak cabinetry. Uh, that's obviously really light and strong. That's what oak's na ma name blah, known for. This is a Formica countertop, so it's not. Um, this is a really awesome countertop. I really like it when I see these countertops in here because they last forever, and you can sort of clean them up no matter what, um, even if you have to. Ch um, uh, buff them or whatever they they're just basically a, a one big piece of plastic. So I really like those um, This has been I'm pretty sure this has been upgraded. I can't imagine Chinook came out with these in 1998. It's just a little nicer um, Nice and sturdy I'm not gonna turn this on um, Speakers back here Speakers and of course all these speakers run off of uh, this guy as well you can turn that on. It's gonna make some static noise, of course. So I don't wanna get hit with a copyright infringement, so I won't leave that on for too long. But um, yeah, this is a decent enough uh, stereo, but you could always upgrade that, it's really simple. Um, so uh, this is, um, uh, this is there's two things. One uh, is a uh, sort of a window covering that goes on the back window right there. And the second one is a window covering that kind of goes around the front area right here and covers everything up. Of course, these guys right here are these sort of uh, um, sort of uh, daytime nighttime shades um, that are pretty awesome. So this is this would be the nighttime portion of it. And then that would be the daytime portion. And uh, this is uh, this has two separate ones. So, and then you know, of course, that one right there. And then that one just has one really big one. And it pops down. Um, I did put these uh, weather stripping here so it doesn't knock against it and make a bunch of noise. 
Again, oak table. Uh, I like these um, dinette tables really well. Chinook did a really good job making sure that these wedge in there really well. So I really like them. They don't fall down or pop back down. So it's just a little better than the norm. Um, oh, this is not good. I should turn this off before I hit, get hit with a copyright. Um, some uh, some wiring work. I, uh, uh, my lord, what's going on here? There we go. Um, I, I put an external fuse box here. I brought some wires up here so that you can, um, you could pull whatever you want 12 volt wise. Um, of course I pulled whatever I want 12 volt wise. I put these fans in here. Really like these fans. Um, really important to be able to vent and, uh, especially in a solar based vehicle, if you don't want to just run your generator, run the AC and you know, it, you know how generators can be stinky and loud. Um, it's really important to be able to, you know, pop a vent open and let's see, pop a vent open. And this vent right here is really nice because it works off of the, um, the temperature, uh, let's see out. And so you can have it turn on, which is really nice because when you go to sleep at night time, you can just set this to a certain temperature and if it gets hot enough in here, this thing will turn on by itself. Um, and I really wanted these guys. Let's turn this back on. These guys are really cool because I can have them. What is it? Uh, they're extremely, they, they make a really nice noise. They're brushless um, electric fans make a really beautiful noise you can set them to <clears throat> um, to go faster and I put them on both sides in case you're sleeping on one side or the other they can uh, be turned on uh, just to show you how easy it is to turn to make this into a bed it is now a bed so, and um, these two connect with each other. So if you turn this into a bed, you can have a California King sleep whichever way you want, uh, which is really nice because I'm pretty sure it is longer this way than it is this way. So if you are really tall, um, this is sort of the way to go. I put some uh, storage back here. Uh, again, uh, this is a knife block holder. So this is a really good use of space. Um, you got a fire extinguisher right here. You got a mag light, um, locking mechanisms, dual locking mechanism. Um, these switches right here will uh, turn on. Let's see which one is it. Uh, so there's lighted steps right here. You can see it. And um, there is a uh, LED strip outside. Uh, I guess I'll just go out barefoot. So that's the LED strip for the outside. It's hard to see in the daytime, but it is there. And it works really well. These are gonna work off of the uh, backup camera or backup lights. So when the backup lights are on, or uh, when you put it in reverse, when you pop the transmission to reverse, those will turn on as well. They'll just be sort of complimentary this is an exterior shower um, again that's a compartment storage compartment uh, let's pop in here this is your uh, this is your shower uh, you got a fan right here which is really nice to make noise as you want to make noise when you're in the shower uh, it's just um, better There we go. There we go. So that's your lights right there. And not really sure why that's not working. But I will check it out. That should be a brand new fan. Um, and you got a shower curtain right here. And you got a porcelain, uh, porcelain toilet with a uh, foot mounted flushing mechanism sort of a built-in sink right there and I put some uh, uh, bamboo sort of thing right there so it doesn't dirty up the shower and yeah it's good. this uh, closes really nicely so it doesn't open and yeah 
there it is that's about it um some wiring going into here it's got 300 amp hours lithium battery with a inverter that is wired into the entire uh, RV so you could turn on the inverter right here and use your microwave you can use any large electronics um, the microwave that's down there is a 2000 watt but I think I'm gonna probably make it into a 4000 watt so I'm gonna put a 4000 watt uh, inverter down there and uh, make it happen so um let's see I think that's pretty much it I'll just turn these guys off and we'll go on a little test drive together I really what I really should have done is popped on this uh, widescreen camera thing let's see that would have been a little bit better to have on <laughs> But I think it's a little late now. Uh, this is a Bluetooth uh, microphone right here. Um, so that when the radio's on, we can have... So all the lights come on and they do go away. Uh, just gonna show you a little bit of the engine while it's on. Pop the hood. Look underneath the undercarriage. Overall, the Ford V10 is a really quiet chassis, or excuse me, a quiet motor. Oh. This is a little old meter right here, uh, and that's the 4x4. Just pop that into drive, make sure the e-brake is in on. Now, uh, one thing to note is the wheels are knobby. And so at low speeds, they actually make quite a rumble, but uh, it actually really does smooth out at higher speeds. And I am going against the right of way right now, so, but I just wanted to get <clears throat> a nice shady.